So my dudes, Valk here, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new manifestation of the dragon, Milum Nava. One thing to keep in note is that she's actually magic and not physical, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you're take, going to take her against things like uh, Karabitis, uh, she's going to do literally no damage, but the main thing about her is her cards. Her cards are really, really good. Dragon Thrash increases all allies' critical resistance by 44%. That's really strong against some bosses because crits really, really hurt. So lowering the amount they can crit is really, really good. Increases own critical rate by 15%. That's just a plus one to it. The important one is Dragon Orb. Changes Soul of Secrets times two into Soul of Divine Protection. This is Earth Milums. This is why Earth Milum was good. Increases all Soul of Divine Protection's gauges increase by 6%. Very pog, very good. This is literally Earth Milums and why Earth Milum was good. She has the exact same thing, except very pog there because now she's dark and does it. And then the other important thing is single target alt, very pog there. As far as stats go, um, if we get into it, we can see she's actually 4 attack, 4 HP, so 4 attack, 4 HP, so she actually has really high base attack. Um, if we go into Awaken, you can see I have the dupe, I haven't plugged it in yet because I want to do a no dupe showcase for you guys. When your troop contains 3 or more battle characters, increases protection gauge by 7 at the start of battle. Very pog. Um, actually, not, not super pong, this one's okay, but the main thing that she is, is she's a single target nuker that has conversion abilities. She does, she's not going to reach the damage levels like Diablo can hit, because Diablo's self buff is so massive, but she's still going to hit some pretty impressive numbers. Um, she's going to be good for pretty much any dark team if you have, if you have, she's going to be like core to any dark team, as you can see by my dark team here. I swapped Diablo's gear onto her just for the showcase, so Diablo's a little lacking. But um, you guys can see, she's actually got a good stuff going. I have her actually set up with the Shuna. If you guys don't know what the Shuna does, I got her with some dupes, but the main thing is her dupe when you release a 6 combo attack with Soul Divine Protection increases own critical rate by 12% for next turn. So I can actually set up some nasty crit rate turns with 27% crit rate. And if I manage to do it, Old Man is there for another 30%. I doubt we're going to actually set that up this turn or this video because we're just going to see what she can do inside the event. As always, we're going to go to the event stage right here. The Predator battle. Make sure you guys are doing that every day. Make sure you do your five entries a day. I'm going to do it. I'm going to knock it out. I haven't done it yet, but I'll make a video. It's not going to be super complicated. It's not going to be super difficult. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Let's see exactly what she can do, what type of damage she can pump out, etc. Um, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know what she's going to do. I'm expecting some good damage because 6 star equips, but we'll see, um, might have to do some shenanigans if she doesn't have good cards, I have to do some of that, we'll see, uh, let's see what she's got. Alright, so she starts with 3, and then we're going to do some shenanigans to get her back in. So, let's go, bop, 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 how much damage are you doing to this hit here? 2.5k at level 80, that's actually respectable, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty damn good. Especially considering like Veldor is doing like 2.7k. That's pretty damn good. So let's see uh, what are the cards looking like. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna kind of hang out. We're gonna do this, this. Yeah, we're gonna just hang out right here for a minute. Bop. Bop. 3.68. I remember he's almost level 100 too. He's level 96. So 3.6k shouldn't shock you. Um, Alright, we're going to swap in Old Man now. We're actually going to do a big turn because I want to showcase her card combo and why her card's so good. So we're actually going to do a pretty massive turn here. Bigly Wiggly turn. And we're going to make sure to finish up the combo with her. So we can see her damage at the very end. Bop, bop, bop. I thought that would kill me. So what's her damage with the monster combo? 6k, wow. Okay, so now here's the one turn that I was really excited to set up. Um, let's see how much her, like, this is what I was talking about before. With her buff. Uh, it is 20, 70. We don't have enough to do all of them. We don't have enough to use Hakuru too. So we're just going to... Hmm... I do want to convert that so we get more cards out of it. Actually, let's do it. Screw it, dude. Let's do it. Ooh, and we converted both melon cards. 
someone out there is watching that knows. So we'll actually be able to see her ult damage this next turn. I really wanted to crit though. Her crit rate should be pretty high right now, actually. Stop. Do we get a crit? No crit. 4127. Okay, so what's she gonna hit on the ult with a Veldora buffed ult? Hmm. No, we don't even have enough for Veldora buff. We should he should survive this, and this will give us what, 56? Is that enough for Veldora buff? It is, okay. So we'll do this. Uh Sue should survive this turn, hopefully. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. So let's see what she does with this. Let's see how hard she hits with the Veldora buff. On her ult. And we can also watch her ult, because her ult's fantastic. Dude, they've been killing on the animations with this game. They've been absolutely killing it. So let's see. We're gonna do this, we're gonna burn the rest of her cards. Alright, let's watch the ult together. Dude, I love this ult. <laughs> but between this and Veldor, Veldor takes the cake, dude. Veldor's is just too good. But the shot with the explosion in the background here... is so good. Look at, look at that. That is... that is wicked. How much are we talking here? 18k at level 80. Damn, that's pretty damn good, dude. 18k at level 80, and it was only Veldora buff, no crit even. That's pr that's actually pretty wicked. She's pretty good. <laughs> she's pretty damn good. All right. Um, I think she's going to be a really core member to pretty much any dark team. So if you guys, uh, if you guys, basically are using a dark team. She's pretty much almost, I, won't, I don't want to say a musket, but because she's orange to blue conversion as well as a single target nuker, she's very, very powerful and you should really look into getting her. Anyways, that's my showcase. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I think this unit's fantastic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.